We had an idea in our Adventures League group to run the players through a pretty gnarly adventure. I called it the tenacious twisted trials of terror, torture, torment, and more terror. It involved players playing for four weeks starting at first level without giving the characters a long rest. No long rest, not through each session, but for the four weeks. Meaning that they wouldn't be able to recover from any of the previous fights that they had. For example, if you were playing a bard and you went pew and fired your spell, I hope you got your worth out of it because you're not getting it back for the next four weeks. On top of that, it took place during a military occupation, with a nearly constant stream of fights breaking out. A party of first-level adventurers would, in total, have to contend with an insane number of enemies. 40 kobolds, 20 human cultists, 10 soldiers, 12 drakes, and a few more I probably forgot, and two secret encounters. One was the group champion, and the other was the group muscle. The players took orders from the mayor, who I couldn't come up with a voice, so I just used absurd for some reason. I have a great plan! We will go up to them. We will say, hey, you are doing the evil. Stop. And they will say, yeah, okay, we stop now. It is great plan. But unless it doesn't work out, we might have to figure something else out. The missions involve the players running around the town of Greenest, saving civilians during the time an entire army has moved in and is looting the place. There was a lot of guerrilla warfare going on, with battalions of soldiers passing along the roads to loot and mow down innocent bystanders, and it was the player's job to get as many of them out of there as they could. My players were handling the encounters pretty well at first, until they ran out of magic and health, and were all limping along on one to two hit points, and they still had three more sessions to go through. The players figured out very early on that they can't keep engaging in these mano a mano fights all across the city. Oh my god, there's no way we can take all these guys on. Well yeah, we can't take them head on, but what if we were sneaky about it? They looted several of the raiders' military garbs and were sneaking around planting traps, like making ambushes or locking people in buildings and setting them on fire. When hostages were being sent to the raiders' camp, they would intercept the caravans, pretend they were taking them to the raiders, but instead would get them out of danger. Since they were dressed up in military garb, the bard loved it, because he was like, You're telling me I get to use performance in every fight? This guy's a traitor! Forsooth, my brother, I did not betray you. T'was a momentary lapse of judgment. The heat of battle is upon us. Let us pursue the enemy with haste! Why are you talking weird? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Is, is someone talking weird? Who said anything about anyone talking weird? Eventually, the group ended up drawing the eye of the head of the raiders, who started releasing fake hostages, which were cultists dressed up in civilian clothing, who would turn on the party and try and take them down. The back and forth eventually rose her ire and pissed her off enough that she was done with all the games, the sneaking around, the deception. The champion, Langdorosa, challenged one of the players to a fair duel to release some hostages. Mano a mano, one on one. The, the warlock stepped up and accepted the fight. The champion was like, I am a good sportsman. I will let you take the first blow on me. She cast a spell which did a little bit of damage. Haha, <laughs> you call that an attack. I'll show you how real warriors duel. Then the champion pulled out her broadsword, and I turned over to her stat block. Which, I didn't expect to be that abusively long. This, this is supposed to be a first level adventure? So I rolled her attack on our little warlock. Oh! Look at that! That's a 19! She got a critical hit on you! Wait, only a fighter can crit on a 19! Does she have player class levels? Yes! Six of them! So I describe as the sword hacks off her head in one blow. I commend your bravery, little one, even if it was not enough to save you. After the fighting was over, the players managed to flee into the fortress and seal the place up. Locking the army out behind them, they're able to get a moment to catch their breath. They're talking amongst themselves like, Oh, thank God, it's finally over. We're out of spells. We're covered in injuries. We can finally rest up and recover. And they're congratulating each other that they actually managed to pull it off. While they're doing that, I'm flipping through the encounter and I'm sweating bullets. Because I know it's not over. Not by a long shot. And what's coming up is an encounter with the cult's muscle that they pull in when the players decide to hole up in the keep. So when the players think they're safe and away from the fighting, that's when the raiders send in Lenathon. An encounter that I had read ahead of time 
and had been dreading since we started. I describe as overhead, they hear a loud roar that echoes across the city, and all the raiders and militia look up into the dark sky that is blanketed by a growing storm, as a large, winged creature passes through the clouds, pushing them out of the way. And landing in the courtyard is a fully grown, adult, blue dragon. Oh no, you go away now. We don't want you here. Your walls mean nothing to me. You hid here well for a time, and that time is now up since I, Lanathon, have arrived. I let the players know. Uh, okay, everyone, roll initiative. Are, are you kidding? We're rolling initiative against that thing? Two of the players are new and the rest are veterans. One of them's like, we can take this thing down, right? While the others are shaking their heads violently going, no. While they're talking, I'm trying to decide which side of the table I like better than the other for the breath weapon. The other new player goes, "Wee! Yes, a monster. I'm going to be taking this thing down. Oh, you fool. He starts wailing on it with his weapons going like, tink, 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 off of it. One of the players fires an arrow at it, which goes, as it sinks into his flesh. The dragon goes, oh my god, was that, was that an arrow? Did you, just, did you just shoot me with an arrow? Ow! Ow! Who does that? I didn't fly all the way out here just to get shot with, with a freaking arrow. Isn't that got some rules or something? Ow! At me! A dragon! A freaking dragon! Who shoots an arrow at a dragon? The, the, the disrespect. Why do I have to take that? You know what? You know what? I don't have to take that. I guess I guess I'll just be leaving now. Good luck sieging your own castle without my help. Ha! And the dragon flies away. Yay! We won! They go talk to the mayor. Oh, yes! Payment! Money! You're getting the big reward, yes, for this. Like, whoa, my God, you guys will look at it and be like, wow, that's really, really big. And I'll say, yes, I told you. That's what I said earlier. That's really big. And that's what, you know, that's what you're saying. And your reward is going to be the taste of victory and the gold in your hearts and me being, like, really appreciating of the work and... You're doing, you know, you're not getting any actual money for this. We're not getting paid for this. We're not getting paid for this.